a decent fish. It's not a bad one here, you know. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. What's up, everyone? I'm Brandon, and you're watching John Bow River Cats. All right, today we got some perch, and we've got some shad. Uh, we're on Lake Gaston. Uh, we're much further downstream, um, pretty much at the uh, mouth of Hall Tree Creek. Um, we're not far from Six Pound Creek where a state record blue was pulled out but uh it's about uh it's about 6 45 in the morning um water temps out here on the main main lake are much warmer than on the tail race water temp 79 degrees that's good swimming water here but uh we're gonna cut up some shad and some perch. Let's see if we can uh, get on some fish today. All right. I left my needle nose at home, so all I've got are some rusty pliers I have in my box there for tightening down stuff. Let's trim off this fin here. Let's throw this perch body section on. That will be bait number one scale off my hook point there perch is a pretty sought after bait on this lake seems to work pretty good so Not very big, but it's a bite, nonetheless. Little blue cat. It's not my fault you didn't do any fighting, dude. There we go. Not a bad blue. Gave us our bait back. We're getting hit somewhere else. Where is it? Right here. Right here, y'all. Right here. Or small one. But it is a bite nonetheless. Oh, we're getting a hit over here too, y'all. Right here. Right here. Oh, he spit it out. Moving across some fish here, y'all. Oh, we're getting bit on the other side. Both rods on the other side. I got one swimming with this one and one swimming with that one. Let's put this one down. He's hooked. Oh, he 
can just let that one go. Oh, he's sitting there again. He's sitting there again. All right, let's get this one in. A little blue. All right, let's get them back. All right. Now we're about to move across a 30 foot hole, and I can't even get to it. I'm getting so many bites. It starts out about 25 feet here soon, and then it just drops down to 30 feet. And then there's also another hole out to the right there. Oh, we got a bite on this rod now. Oh, there he goes. Oh, wow, I know one too. One on this rod and one on the other rod. That's a decent fish. That's not a bad one here, y'all. He ripped a little bit of drag on the takedown. This fish is acting like he wants to stay down. Oh, got one swimming with this one now. Maybe this one's still hooked in, hooked on. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think we're hooked up on that side too, y'all. This isn't a bad fish here. He's just spinning my boat around. I'm gonna guess, judging by the way this fish feels, maybe 20 pounds. Just by the way it feels. This is definitely not not a 40 or 30 class way he's pulling maybe he's gonna change his mind and decide to be a 30 class but i'm gonna guess this one's gonna be around 20. i haven't seen this yet but we are still hooked up on that right rod so we are doubled up Getting a glance at them here. Just did see a silhouette of them. Probably gonna need the net though. Yeah, I'm gonna need the net. Not a bad fish, y'all. Not a bad fish at all. That's what I'm talking about. I've got all these carpenter ants in my boat. This guy is hooked up, so we are going to let him chill there for a second. And we're going to reel up on this one. All right, we got that one. Now let's get this one before he comes off. Get the net ready. Before he either comes off or breaks my rod on my trolling motor. got some serious bed scars on it yeah it's about a 20 some okay. a very mean one he's probably not too happy about this i 
Let's get them in here. All right. All right. The hook is out. Not a bad fish this morning. A little bloody, you can see those bed scars up there. He's been uh, been a busy boy. He's been a real busy boy. This spawn. Oh, marked up. He's bleeding a little bit, but he'll be okay. He's bleeding out of his mouth. All right. Oh, he bled over everything in my boat. Look at that. I don't know why he's bleeding so much. It was like, uh, kind of like getting hooked in the tongue. So, uh, he'd be all right. All right. Let's get this crazy guy in. guy or gal all right let's get on some more pretty much all of my rods are in the boat it's hard to make anything happen when a boat goes by about every minute or two But that's the kind of stuff you got to deal with out here, especially on Lake Gaston. This is uh, it's like Pleasure Boat Central. Yet the, it's like the mecca of catfishing in North Carolina and Virginia. Other than, you know, James River and Carl Lake. But this is probably, uh, I would say, one of the better of the three. Except for maybe the James River. That's a, it's a tidal river. And uh, they've had some pretty big ones pulled out of there. There's been some big ones pulled out of Car Lake too. Oh, 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 oh. They're just uh, so scattered it seems. Ah. Part of that is because the lake is enormous. It's the biggest lake in North Carolina. I'm not mistaken. We're marking some more fish. We're getting a bite over here on this left rod now. Kind of keeping an eye on that. That's a pretty colored blue right there. Beautiful fish. Calm down and I'll get the hook out you. But if you don't calm down, we're both gonna be wearing that hook. That's a pretty blue though. Look at those purple and greens and blues and yellows. I love the way these fish look when they're cooperating especially. Let's get it back. We're marking some more fish. That fish was not kind enough to give us the bait back. <clears throat> Pretty much where I'm fishing is that uh, main channel goes that way. That way is downstream. And it curves to the left here and then curves right back to the right. This section's got a lot of humps and dips. And uh, especially once you get up around this corner, it's, uh, it's a whole lot of different contours under the water. So uh, my guess is coming around this bend and then this 30 foot hole right here and all on up through there should be some good fishing. It definitely looks very, very fishy. So 
So we're going to keep on going down, drifting down. We are suspended fishing today. And uh, so far seems to be working good. Is it going to hook up or did it just... No, he's still got it. Uh-huh. There he is. Luckily, this time of year, the water is not real choppy because the wind's not blowing really hard. Um, but in the fall, winter, and spring, it's usually so choppy out here, this little boat can't handle it. I have had a close call a little, a little further upstream one day. Yeah, burp it up. All right, let's get him back. It was nice enough to give us the bait back, so we're gonna rehook that, put it back down. Literally, guys, I've been in this spot <laughs> most of the morning, and I'm still trying to get to that 30 foot hole up there. But every time I get about 24 feet, I get a bite. I'm not gonna complain though. But I do want to see what's in that hole. I'm sure there's something down there in that hole. All right. Just had a skiff go by. And we got us a bite. I still have not made it to that 30 foot hole. <laughs> I'm sitting in 25 feet of water. Another nice little blue. These are all eater size just about, except for that bigger one we caught this morning. We're gonna freshen up. I might even, uh, I'm gonna take this shad right here. And I'm gonna cut the tail off. And I don't have a double hook rig, but we're gonna hook them kind of like we would a live live bait and this will be a just a larger bait down there if you cut the tail like that it'll bleed out a little slower so uh we're gonna hook it right through the back right here kind of behind that dorsal let it hang just like that and uh we're gonna drop that whole piece down see if uh see if a monster decides to take it Or if something decides to just rip it off the hook like they normally do. We'll see. But it's worth a try. There we go. Got another bite. <clears throat> I just was getting to that 30 foot hole at 26 feet here. Getting another butt right here on this rod. That's a nice little fish. It just came off. Let's get this one back in. Some muddy fish here. Real close to the bottom. bite over here not a bad one I think we're yeah we're still hooked up over here let's get this one a little bitty blue all 
Doubled up again, y'all. There we go. All right. Let's get some baits back in the water. We getting another bite right here. Look at this takedown. Slow, slow takedown. better quality than the last couple not a bad blue yeah go ahead and do some pulling wear yourself out Yeah, it's a little better quality than the last couple. Whoa. Throw in a bunch of water this time. Goodness. Alright. I was in the middle of cutting up a white perch to rebait one rod. Now I got a fishy here. I can always feel when they're about to start rolling, they tense up and curl. Tense up and curl up. Now, calm down, buddy. Calm down, man. Is he a biter? Yep. Yep, it's a biter. I gotta get some fish grips. These fish, plus work, are tearing my thumbs all to pieces. All right, this fish has got a little relief now. Hooks out, nice male, very, very aggressive male. All right, let's get them back. Getting bit right here. I want to see this little guy. Though. He's doing all kinds of rolling down there. Got himself hooked up. Little bitty guy. It's starting to get crazy out here with pleasure boats. I got a pontoon behind me, another ski boat up down the river here, and another one right here behind me. Coming up, coming from uh, upstream. So I can already tell I ain't gonna be out here much longer. There we go. Another blue, small one. decent quality fish today uh, no monsters but uh, it is the spawn season uh, that 
first one, he was probably 20, I'm gonna say anywhere from 18 to 25 pounds. Uh, but yeah, it's July 4th weekend, boat traffic's getting pretty crazy. And uh, it was starting to get pretty warm out there. Uh, the boats had the water tore up so much that it, you know, every time I'd get a nibble uh, or, or start to get a bite, uh, I'd be going over boat wakes and it just, that just deterred the fish from uh, biting. So we caught quite a few though, uh, a lot of small ones, but it is spawn season. So, uh, but it's been John Boat River Cats with another one. Don't forget, if you like the content, slam that like button. Share the video with your friends and family. Cast a comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Catch you on the next one.